Good evening. On Newsworthy tonight, a story of online auctions of women. Yes, you heard me right. It's a story that is disturbing, worrying and disgusting in equal measure. Now, you may or may not have heard of Bully Deals app. It's an app through which there was an online auction of Muslim women in India. And then there was an entire social media harassment web that was created to intimidate them, possibly to silence them. Well, three people have been arrested. The first is a 21-year-old engineering student, Vishal Jha, in Bangalore. He was traced via his fake Twitter account that he made to resemble a Sikh person. This Twitter account is what he used to share content. The second is Shweta Singh, an 18-year-old woman from Uttarakhand. She allegedly created the app together with Vishal. They also created and managed accounts called Khalsa Supremist and Justice for Sikh on GitHub. And then there is a third person, 21-year-old Mayank Rawal, arrested in Uttarakhand. Now, the story has been developing for the last two, three days, and there are still large sections who say, why should the needs of three odd young people become such an issue? Well, we are here, Pallavi and Self are here to explain that these are number one, not just isolated incidents. These young people being arrested are not just three random folks. There is a context in which this is happening. And we as journalists end up becoming stenographers if we don't join the dots or whitewash an important story like this by saying these are three random young people who went here. So let's start. 1st of January 2022, an app called Bully Buy came up on the internet on GitHub. GitHub, many of you may be aware, is a hosting platform for open source projects. So it allows multiple people to collaborate, come together on projects. Now, what did this app do? Well, under this app, Bully Bai, hundreds of Muslim women were put up for sale as maids. Their photographs were simply taken from their social media accounts and they were put or displayed on this app for sale as Bully Bai of the day. Now, who are these women? And why these women in particular? Well, they come from different age groups. They are young and old. They are students, activists, journalists, radio jockeys. And what may also be common to many of them is that they speak. They have a voice. You may like them or not, but they speak freely and largely independently. There's Fatima Nafis, the mother of Najib Ahmed, the JNU student missing for over five years. There is Khalida Parveen, an activist. There is actress Shabana Azmi. There are journalists, many of them. Ismat Ara, journalist Hiba Beg. There is radio jockey Saima. For the last five days, more and more women have come out after finding themselves on this vile and disgusting app. At last count, there were at least 100 women who had come forward. Now, GitHub pulled the app down the same day on Jan 1, but the women continued to face further systematic abuse because creators of this auction app used anonymous or fake Twitter profiles made to resemble Sikh accounts to further share photographs and links and amplify the abuse. Some were even being rated on other apps like Clubhouse. Journalist Ismat Ara shared a screenshot of her photo on the app saying, sad that as a Muslim woman, you have to start your new year with this sense of fear and disgust, end quote. Hiba Beg, currently a student at Columbia University, wrote about how she was targeted on a similar app a few months ago, Sully Deals, which is an extremely derogatory term. And we'll talk about that in the video ahead as well, because there are clear connections. I'll put a few more tweets on the screen for you to see the deep sense of violation and angst these women are being made to feel. Now what's been done since this abuse has come to light? GitHub took the page down but no answers on who ran it, how this abuse happens on their platform repeatedly. Based on complaints filed by women, the Delhi police has filed an FIR, no arrest till now. They have asked Twitter and GitHub for more information. 
The Mumbai police has arrested three people. Hyderabad and Noida police have also filed FIRs. And a few politicians, notably Priyanka Chaturvedi and Rahul Gandhi, have raised the issue. The Information and Technology Minister has promised action against the perpetrators, but so far nothing concrete has come out from otherwise rather quick to act on government orders, social media companies. These are the facts of this story. Now let's talk about context, which explains why you should be enraged at this. This is not the first time this is happening. We mentioned Suli deals. Suli is an extremely derogatory term for a Muslim woman. In July 2021, a group of people made an app by this name on GitHub. They scraped photos of hundreds of Muslim women from India and Pakistan. Again, these women were researchers, activists, artists, journalists. The user of the app could open the app, click find your Sully deal of the day, and a random woman's photo would crop up as having been auctioned or sold to that user. That's it. What do you think the aim is of these apps? I'm thinking it's fairly straightforward to violate the privacy of these women, to sexualize them, to demean them, to abuse them, to intimidate them, to possibly get them to shut up. The creators call it a community-driven open source project and it remained on GitHub for 20 days. Then two women whose photos were exploited raised their voice on social media, FIRs were filed and GitHub took it down. But that was the end of it. No arrests have been made in that case till now, despite there being precise Twitter handles that boasted of creating the app being in public domain. Which is why six months on, we have more brazen violations and abuse of women's privacy and dignity. Now the thing is, we can take you back even further to show this isn't a case of just two apps. In May of 2021, several Twitter handles, again with variations of that disgusting word, shared photographs of Muslim women and again sold them via an online auction. Twitter suspended these accounts, but that's about it. There was no legal action that was taken. Again, last year, there was a YouTube channel named Liberal Doge. It posted photographs of women. The channel at that point in time, I believe, had about 87,000 followers and they were asked to rate and auction these women. The YouTube channel was taken down. Its Twitter handle was taken down. Both were owned by a 23-year-old man called Ritesh Shah, based in Gurgaon. We are urging you to see other incidents that have happened in our landscape. The impunity with which talk about violence, sexual violence, genocide against Muslims is taking place. Events like the Dharm Sansat, recently held in Haridwar by religious leaders, called for violence against Muslims. A Hindu Mahapanchayat held in Haryana in July, where videos showed speakers calling for violence and abduction of Muslim women, and the audience responding with cheers and applause. There is a May 2021 investigation done by the website Article 14, and it found several fake social media accounts pretending to be Muslim women asking for sex with Hindu men. The investigation also found other accounts that had an intermix of pornographic material, religious symbols and iconography, all clearly meant to provoke. We'll add the link of that investigation in the show notes description. Have a look. There's an entire focus on love jihad and religious conversion laws in many states. And there is the crackdown against young, vocal, strong Muslim women who have been the face of anti-CAA protests. So once you widen the lens, You see, this isn't about just one app or three random people. Think about it. The main language used for the bully by app is Punjabi. The logo is a turban. Many fake accounts on Twitter that are sharing photographs of the app are Sikh. When all signs so far show the perpetrator is not a Sikh. One more thought before we leave. This should be considered by all means as an organized virtual bullying, violence, harassment, exploitation. 
but there is nothing to suggest that this intimidation will not spill from virtual apps to real streets. I'll end it here. That's all for today, but I'm going to end on a familiar note. Please share this video. Please subscribe to this channel. When you click the bell icon, whether you do it on YouTube or on Instagram, you are notified when something that is worthy of your time and your intellect is being uploaded. We also need your support. So please head to the bio or the description and make a donation. We'll see you again very soon.